Hello, welcome to lecture 9 in EE 319K. This is Ramesh Yarabali. I will introduce the topics that we, we are going to cover in this lecture as they relate to lab 7 in the class. Uh, the main goal of uh, this lecture is to write a device driver. In fact, we will write a device driver for a, a LCD display. Uh, the specific display we will be writing a device driver for is the ST7735. Uh, as it turns out, uh, this display uh, will uh, is a color display. Uh, and we will be interfacing it to our microcontroller using a protocol, a standard protocol called SPI, uh, which stands for a synchronous peripheral interface. Uh, in a nutshell, this protocol will require us to adhere to a specific way of talking to this device. So we'll see what that means as we go along. Uh, there are other names for this protocol. There is a pro name called I square C, SSI. These are all different variations of the same protocol, uh, which is which uses a serial communication uh, where we're going to use a single pin to communicate. The second thing that we're going to learn in uh, as part of this uh, lecture uh, as it relates to the lab is synchronization. When we have a, a device that we are talking to, it's possible that a device is, is faster than the microcontroller or it's slower than the microcontroller. So what we need is a way to do a to bridge this speed mismatch. And we will see three different ways of bridging this mismatch. Uh, we'll see that we can do what is called a blind cycle synchronization or a busy wait synchronization or an interrupt based synchronization. The third thing that we're gonna be learning as part of this lecture series uh, is the notion of variables in their entirety. That is, we've been declaring variables, but we have to uh, get a grab, grasp of them in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, what does it mean to declare global variables, local variables, what are, what are other attributes of variables. Specifically, we will study them in terms of two two important perspectives. One is called scope and the other is persistence. Scope tells us uh, where a variable is accessible and persistence tells us when does it come to life and how long does it live. We'll look at lo specifically local variables as they're implemented in assembly. We will also see a C and assembly interaction. And lastly, we will introduce this notion of fixed point representation. Uh, our microcontroller has on board a piece of hardware called an FPU. Uh, this is distinct from our CPU. The FPU stands for a floating point unit. Uh, the, the advantage of this unit is you can do uh, floating point arithmetic right there on the board. The disadvantage is if you engage it, it consumes, it consumes power, uh, extra power and our battery could be drained. So a lot of embedded systems disable this. So how do we get the effect of floating point without actually using the floating point unit? 
So we use this notion of a fixed point representation, which is we which is a way to get the effect of floating point by using an integer representation. I look forward to meeting you in the next video.